This is an interesting look. Um, so Diana asked for a tutorial on how to get the clipless look. Um, I uh, just use a Conair. I think this is as small as it gets. I have no idea what it is. And I fold back the um, little rest to make sure I don't burn myself on it and to give me more barrel to um, use to curl. And I find for my hair that the smaller the curling iron, the better for this because it actually stays. Um, I've got a lot of hair, so I did one side. Um, and I'll show you on this side um, how I do it. And so what I do is I section my hair. Um, and for some reason, I always start with the side um, that my part goes furthest into, um, which leaves me this side actually tends to have more hair just because of where my part is um, and I split it in the back and then what I do is I start in sections and I kind of section it um, below my ear and then I pin up the rest. Okay, so this gets a little awkward like with how you have to hold your arms. You can do this a couple different ways. Um, sometimes what I do is I alternate um, how, which way I curl the hair so that it doesn't join together. Um, I did this side all facing back, so I'm going to do this side all facing back. And so you kind of have to contort yourself a little bit and put the curling iron behind your head and just twist the hair around the barrel. Then I just kind of wait until I feel the ends are warm without burning my hand. And then I let it go in my hand. Sometimes it gets caught on the curling iron and then drop it. And then you've got these nice curls. And then I just let that cool. And then I go to the next section. And as you're wrapping it around the barrel, make sure you're kind of using your fingers to keep it from twisting. Um, I found that if it twists, doesn't tend to really curl out. Be careful not to burn yourself, which I do a lot. And then sometimes you burn yourself and you let go when you have to start over. <laughs> so as I work my way up my head, um, pay closer attention to these pieces to make sure they're, the curl is nicer the further um, down, so those bigger pieces that I started with, um, they don't need to quite be as pretty, but you actually see these front pieces. Um, so I tend to kind of recurl and work with these ones a little bit to make sure they look good. The other thing about these front couple pieces is I, um, the further, closer to my part I get, um, I don't curl all the way to the root, um, otherwise you get kind of this like super curly poodle look towards the front. I'm not really a fan of that.
now a little hairspray. I also have these crazy baby hairs. Okay. I'm gonna do once all of the curls are cooled. Okay. I'm gonna jostle them up a little bit. Run my fingers through them. Check for any pieces that need to be redone. Voila! Got a little finishing spray on it. There you go. Clipless waves. <laughs>